I bought myself a snowboard, but it's a little lonely right now. There's no friends, it's completely flat, and it's boring. So I got something to help fix that. Inside this box, my snowboard will have a new friend, or couple of friends. Let's see what we got here. I got a bag of air. I'm kidding. I have a box in a box. Yay! Inside this box, I have Finding components. I got bags for my board. I have a second bag that looks just like it. My board has bags. There's something in the bag. It's a binding. Wow. I thought I just ordered bags. That's pretty neat. It actually is really funny that they came inside bags. These are the Union STR snowboard bindings. I got them because they looked like they were a pretty decent set of bindings for a pretty good price. I don't know much about snowboarding in the first place, so the reviews look good and they look good to me, so I went ahead and ordered them. In terms of functionality, they're about a medium stiffness. Listen to that crunch. Oh yeah. Those are some solid clicks. The ratchets feel pretty strong from what I can tell. When it comes to the bottom of the binding, it looks like it has a good amount of padding. I know that I'm gonna be hitting a bunch of jumps on these, and I wanna make sure those landings are as soft as possible. From what I can tell, they are pretty patty. Another thing that I'm a fan of is the straps that come on them. They have a bit of a honeycomb and a flexi pattern, so it should be able to fit whatever boot that I'm gonna wear with it. I think they're pretty adjustable. The high back can adjust its tilt either forwards and backwards with this lever on the back. The straps are also adjustable. The bottom one, you need a screwdriver to take out a screw to adjust it. And the top one looks like I can just pull this little plastic piece out. If I need to adjust it on the mountain, I'm only gonna be able to adjust the top one, which is a little weird but I don't know if it will be a problem yet. I have the board and I have binding components. I'm hoping that there's some type of direction in some of this because I am a little lost. I could probably guess where they go, but I would want confirmation in terms of my guess. There are no instructions from what I can see. We're gonna wing it. I don't even understand how this disc fits into this binding. Does something come undone? It doesn't. It looks pretty solid to me. I can feel where the ribs are on both of them. They both have little teeth. But I don't understand how you get two of them. Maybe there's a right and a left. That sounds dumb. Give me a minute, I'm gonna do some research. From my 30 seconds of research, it looks like I have to pop the footbed out of this thingy. I have to squeeze these little tabs on the bottom to get it up. Hopefully not break it. Oh no, I'm so scared right now. Is it brand new? Okay, okay, okay. I got one out. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I did it. I fully understand how it works now. It's good that I figured it out. I know how to put snowboard bindings on a board now. Please let me know in the comments if I should be concerned about the binding hanging off the board like this. Something I am a little confused by. Please let me know how this works in the comments. I have the binding tightened down through this, yes. Once I put the pad on though, I have to take off the pad to adjust the binding. And the pad is taken off by squeezing these things under the binding. So I would theoretically need the binding off the board in order to squeeze these things, but the binding is stuck on the board through those screws. So I don't understand how I would be able to take the binding off the board once I get it on. Please help me out. I've successfully mounted the bindings onto the board, minus the padding on the bindings. I think I'm gonna play around with the stance a little bit more before I fully set it. The board is noticeably heavier with the bindings on. I don't think I'm gonna be carrying the board that much. This was definitely an experience for me that I've never had before. It was definitely a learning experience for me. I'm glad I went through it and I feel more confident now setting up a snowboard and putting bindings on it. If you guys enjoyed this video or if you learned anything just like I did, make sure that you leave a like and you subscribe to our channel because I will be putting this thing to use once my ACL heals all the way and once there's snow on the ground because it's summer right now. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and let me know that I'm doing it all wrong because I don't do anything with snowboarding. And stay tuned for when I unbox the boots next. Peace.